Okay, students, we had a nice time in the last class where we discussed about various problems of friction. And we would like to further continue this discussion on friction by taking some special cases of banking. So sometimes we see in racing tracks that, you know, they don't keep this, uh, the platform uh, flat, they slightly tilt that. So this is, this is basically done so that you can also take help of normal reaction to provide the required centripetal force. Otherwise, the complete load comes on friction force, which is going to cause a lot of wear and tear on your racing cars and cause them to get damaged. So now let's try to see a specific case of how your friction force as well as the normal reaction can help basically to control and provide the required centripetal force. So now there are two possible cases. We know that when, when you decrease your speed, you know, this car is going to come down. And we see that when you increase your speed, you go and bang the railing. These are things that happen in racing cars. So there are two possible velocities that you could talk about. So we could talk about one of them today. Let's say I will discuss something about V minimum. So if I draw the free body diagram and I would like to resolve all forces in the vertical and the horizontal direction because that will make more sense for me in this application. So coming down vertically is mg and normal reaction is perpendicular to the plane. If I draw one vertical, I know that this angle is theta, which means that this angle is theta. That means the component of normal reaction that is pointing towards the center of the circle is n sine theta. Uh, then uh, if I talk about V minimum, there is a tendency to slide down. You know, the relative motion is what is opposed by friction. So friction will act in the upward direction in this case. So that is in the upward direction. And we can resolve this friction force. We can see this angle is also theta. So this is F cos of theta, right? And uh, here you can say this is going to be N cos theta. And friction is also going to be up. So the component of friction in the upward direction is going to be F sine theta. So you see, I have resolved the forces in the vertical and the horizontal direction. So now you can write two equations. The net force provides the centripetal force. So directed towards center of circle, if I take it as positive, then this is negative. So please note very carefully how I'm writing N sine theta minus Fs cos theta. That is a net force. And this net force provides the required centripetal force required for circular motion. So the load is not only on static friction, also normal reaction is helping a bit. And in the vertical direction, we can performing the balancing act by writing N cos theta plus Fs sine theta that will be equal to Mg. Now, since I'm talking about the boundary condition, the moment I put this Fs as its maximum value, then automatically this V will become minimum, right? So then I will write here N sine theta minus mu s N cos theta. And the moment I write this, then I'll write here, this is V minimum square divided by R. That's the new first equation. And the same thing can be done down. I'll say plus mu s N sine theta equal to M into G. Now, uh, if I want to get some more dimensions, I will have to just divide these two equations, which will give me V minimum square divided by RG because M and M will get cancelled. And even N and N will get cancelled to get sine theta minus mu s cos theta divided by cos theta plus mu s sine theta. And uh, you can see that this is the minimum velocity with which the car should go on a particular track so that it doesn't skid in the downward direction. So suppose the racer has decided to travel at a particular speed, let's say 200 km per hour. And for that, he has to be at a particular radius. So if he decreases, keeping that radius fixed, if he decreases his speed below this value, he will skid in the downward direction. Skidding will happen. Same way you can also calculate for the maximum case. You can try to do that on your own and we can discuss that in the next class that what would be the formula for Vmax. You can also modify this expression by dividing cos theta throughout so that this equation looks a little bit more catchy. So if I divide by cos theta, then on top will be tan theta minus mu s and here will be one plus mu s tan theta, which is a little bit more easier to remember, right? So that's, this is basically, this whole concept that I've spoken today is basically called as banking of roads. 
So banking of roads talks about what should be the data elevation so that uh, you know you can travel with this minimum velocity. So you can design the tracks for the minimum velocity, maximum velocity, and with respect to these values that you want, you can decide what the banking of the road should be. Okay, you can see that even the architectural engineers, civil engineers have to take help of physics. So I hope this concept is clear. Thank you so much for watching.